Hi, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. You can contact me with this information. We will continue with our SQL accounting system training. In today's lesson, I'll talk about cash sales. Actually, cash sales is very similar to invoice. The only difference is in cash sales, we can directly do the customer invoice and payment together. Unlike invoice, you need to create the invoice, then later on go to customer and make the payment. So let's go into cash sales. Same as other transaction, when you go into cash sales, you can see all the previous cash sales that you have created. So you can search the previous transactions by using different criteria such as cash sales number. If you remember, just type the number, you can get it. Or simply click on the company name. If you cannot remember any of these criteria, you can right click at any column title, click on field chooser and drag out any field that you wish to have as a searching criteria and drag back any things that you do not want it to be there. So let's create a cash sales by clicking on the new button. Normally you can select any of your customer by key in their name. If you cannot get the name, when you key their name, it's because your focus is not at company name. Example, in this case, your focus is at company name too. So that's why what you need to do is clear off what you have typed. Click on the tab key on your keyboard. You can see the focus jump to another column. Tap again, it will shift to another column. Then come back to company name. So if you click on the a over here what will happen is as long as you type anything that appear in any part of the company name it will appear but when you do a cash sales normally it's for a cash customer which you did not maintain the customer name so what you need to do is you should maintain a customer name cash sales then you can select this customer so just in case if this customer do not pay you on the spot and you do not wish to maintain them, what you can do is actually you can change the name. Let's say uh, Mr. Lee. Then you put in the phone number. So just in case you want to chase payment later, it's easier for you. Then what you need to do is just like invoice, click on the plus sign to select the item. Same things, I'll type in the item name. Or you may just transfer from other document by right click on the cash sales title. You can transfer from quotation sales order of DO. Let's say I do this. You can see that after transfer, the item that transfer over will be in green color. So you can change the quantity, put in the price, put in discount and so on. So. As you can see, when you click on the save button, we call it payment dialog will pop up. So it will ask you how much your customer paid you and then what is the payment method. When you click on OK, so the system will automatically help you to create a customer payment. So you can see that this is CS00011. So when we double click on this, so it will actually bring you to customer payment which already knock off with the cash sales. So this is how cash sales in SQL accounting work and you can preview the document by clicking on this button. You can print out to different different format even those uh, small receipt printer you can able to print out also or you want to have an A4 size receipt also no problem so this is how you create your cash sales if you do have time do drop by at my Facebook it's at facebook.com slash syntax technologies you can get all the latest information regarding GST and also SQL accounting system over here or if you wish to have a look or watch my previous tutorial video, you just go to syntech.com.my 
click on the YouTube and you can have all the previous SQL accounting system tutorial video over here. So um, I'm Brian from Syntax Technologies. Thank you.